You need to understand that an injustice to one is an injustice to all. The injustice in Nigeria right now is an injustice to you. The my channel if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution so if you guys have been following the week in my life vlogs then you know that all roads have been leading up to this particular moment this is the event that I was talking about so this was my last big event as the BSU president and it is a black lives matter event and the purpose of this event was to highlight the differences in the experiences that we have the name of the event is called bridging the gap the intention really behind it is just to highlight that there is a gap between us and also highlight the fact that we need to bridge that gap and that the fight for black lives is not just one that black people need to fight but it's one for all people to fight because we need to achieve equity in our world and that's not going to happen if black people are the only ones fighting you know guys to change the world you don't just wake up and hit the top of like a mountain and bam we change the whole world to change the world you need to start by changing your world and influencing your environment and just by doing that you will influence one person and they will take whatever you taught them to the next person and without even knowing it you have changed the lives of a whole lot of people and thus you are actually changing the world I want to take this time to apologize for the audio the audio and the mic and stuff sounds kind of fuzzy but please try your best to really listen to what is being said and to understand again I'm really sorry when I started the event I asked everyone to listen with a heart of understanding with ears of understanding really watch with the aim of understanding and learning and not just watching in order for you to come with a comeback or to fight hi everybody my name is Benita and I am the president of the black students union I just want to start off by thanking each and every single one of you for coming out today. Today we're going to be doing three activities and I ask that as you do these activities you pay attention to your surroundings and I ask that you open up your heart and your ear to listening, to learning, to understanding. For the first activity we're going to need everyone to get into a straight line next to Laura. Laura, can you wave your hands, please? Just try to get into a straight line besides Laura. Good evening, everybody. My name is Taylor Porter. I'm the vice president of the Black Student Union. I'm also the president of Pro Nation. I'm also a track and field athlete. I'm also a black man in America. So for the first activity, it's called Check Your Privilege. So basically I'm gonna give you simple instructions. If the phrase that I say applies to you, you'll take a step forward or a step backward. All right, so let's get started. Take a step back if you don't feel good about the way your culture is portrayed in the media. Big step, big step, big step. Step back if someone assumes you cannot afford something just by looking at you. Step four, if growing up, your favorite superheroes had roughly the same skin tone as you. Step back, if you have ever been called a racial slur. Step four, if growing up, dolls, toys, and cartoon characters had roughly the same skin tone as you. Step back if your natural hair has been called a professional. Step four if in high school you learned about scientists, entrepreneurs, and soldiers of your race. Step back if you were taught how to not get killed by police or had to teach your child. Step back if your race has a history of oppression. 
Step four, if growing up, you can easily find children's books that have people that look like you or have your story. Step back, if you have ever been followed in a store unnecessarily. Step back, if still in 2020, people of your race are being awarded as the first of your race to accomplish something. Step forward, if you have never been asked to speak on behalf of your entire racial group. Step back, if you feel a deep pit of fear that you might die when you have an encounter with police. Step back, if your entire race has been called criminal. Step back, if people clench their belongings when walking by you. Step back, if you are the only person of your race in a classroom. So I just want everybody to just take like five, 10 seconds, just look around, just look at your surroundings. Remember how we were all lined up together equal, standing beside each other. Now look at this. Just look, just look, just look. There's a gap between us now. This gap, we gotta bridge this gap. It starts with me, it starts with you, it starts with all of us. If you wanna bridge this gap, we gotta work together to bridge this gap. We need to come together to bridge this gap. Now moving on to the next activity, we're gonna hand it over to Laura. We need everybody to come down and get in a socially distanced circle. We're gonna start the second activity. I just wanna make sure everybody in front of me can see me. Okay, so for our next activity, we're going to be um, putting some names on the board here. So anybody who has a sticker, please join me in the middle of the circle. So Benita's going to start us off, and then we'll start with Fred and Kevin Grigsby, and then we'll go this way. Go ahead, Benita. So in this activity, everyone has a sticker that contains a name of a man, woman, and child that has been killed unjustly. So everyone who takes forward, who steps forward, one at a time, please. We want you to read out the name that is on your sticker. So for instance, mine says, I am Sahid Basil. And you stick it anywhere on this person. I am Brianna Taylor. I am Chad Robertson. I am Terrence Kircher. I am Stefan Alonzo Fall. I am Kishara Bradford Jr. I am Deborah Dan. I am Bobby John. I am Michael Brent Charles Ramos. I am Jordan Edwards. The names that were read tonight were names of powerful black men and women whose lives were taken due to violence and hate. Tonight we end that hate, we end the violence, and we end the divide. It is time we bridge the gap.
they, these men and women, rest in power. We're going to leave this stand in the DEI house. And we want some of you to go visit there sometime and read their names and read their stories. This is not even half of the people who have lost their lives. And we want to remember them and their stories. We're going to do one last activity. So for this activity again, we need everyone to get into a straight line next to Laura. So this is activity three. This is the last activity for the night. And it's very similar to Taylor's game. So as I give an instruction, step forward if it applies to you, or step back, whatever I say. So take a step forward if COVID has gotten in the way of some of your plans this year. Take a step forward if you love music. Take a step forward if you've ever experienced that awkward moment when someone is waving in your direction and you wave back thinking it's for you, but it wasn't. Take a step forward if you ever talk to yourself when you're alone. Take a step forward if you feel awkwardly uncomfortable when people sing happy birthday for you. Take a step forward if you ever fart in public when no one is around. Everybody step forward, don't you laugh? Take a step forward if you are a dog person. Take a step forward if you are a cat person. Take a step forward if you wish you could get paid for simply existing. Take a step forward if you have blood in your body. Take a baby step forward because you're getting a little close if you deserve to love and be loved. And take a step forward if you are human. So the reason why we decided to end off with this activity is because we are all human. And if we look at anatomy and some awkward moments, we are all the same. But as you guys noticed in game one, Though we are all the same, we're all humans and we have blood, we don't have the same experiences. Being black this year, and I'm just talking this year, has been very difficult. Being black in this school this year has been very difficult. If we look at the social media incident that happened earlier this year, where we had people telling us that our race, that black people are criminals and thugs, we had people telling us that we shouldn't be affected by the effect of slavery because it's been years. We had incidents on this campus where black people are being called racial slurs. I know that I'm not the only one who can say that this campus is my home. It is where I learn, it is where I live, and it is where I deserve to feel safe. And if that wasn't enough, then let's look into the hardships that black people have faced in this world. You see, we are students and we go to school and we study but we have to do so while being called racial slurs and people who look like us are being murdered on camera. And then when we say that our lives matter, <laughs> it's a problem. Someone said to me a few weeks ago, 
that, oh, I'm so glad these things are being recorded so we can see that it's happening. It's been recorded for years. Philando Castile was recorded. Eric Garner was recorded. It's been recorded for years. You just didn't know this. But we have to know this. Because our parents talk to us about when you see a policeman, don't feel safe. Don't make any sudden movements. Forget your human rights. Just try to come home alive. We have to notice because we're being called racial slurs. We have to notice and so do you. You need to check your privilege. You see, you may not be a part of the problem. You're not the one calling people racial slurs. You do have privilege. And you need to see it because when you don't see it, you allow it to continue to happen. So you may not be a part of the problem, but you should be a part of the solution. And you need to understand that yes, all of our lives matter. Every single one of you, your life matters. But we cannot say that all lives matter if black lives don't matter and if black lives continue to be treated this way. You need to understand that an injustice to one is an injustice to all. The injustice in Nigeria right now is an injustice to you. The injustice to black lives is an injustice to you because it is an injustice in the world that you live in, where you raise your children, where your family is. So you need to see it. You need to get angry and you need to get active and bring about change. And how do you do that? It starts with you and holding yourself accountable and your friends accountable and making a difference in every role that you play. You're a student, you're a professor, you're a faculty member, an administrator, whatever you are. Make sure that you do your part to bring about a positive change in your world where indeed we can say with full confidence that all lives matter. Because black lives are also counted in that. It doesn't end with you attending this event. It only starts now. We are crying out to you. This is not about Democrats and Republicans. This is about life and death. Mothers, fathers, children being murdered for existing? And then they tell you that you're lying on the internet. We deserve them. The fight for black lives is a fight for everything. Please remember that as you go back to your spaces today. Remember that world. Remember this day. Remember their names. Remember our faces. Let us work to bridge the gap. Thank you all for coming tonight. So before we go, I want us to chant Black Lives Matter five times. Can you guys do that? Oh, how are you supposed to do that if you're not going to share with something? All right. In three, two, one. To anyone who is watching this, I'm doing my bit to change the world. I'm doing my bit to change my world. What are you gonna do? That's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe, and I will be back with more videos. Any videos that you wanna see, comment down below, and I'll definitely try to make it happen for you. Peace and love, guys. Unicorn, ouch, out.